Breathe less, live more. It might sound ironic, but a new breathing technique seems to prove it right. With us this morning is Mr. Jack Vigian. He will tell us more about the Buteco breathing method, which is said to help prevent illness through breathing less. Good morning to you, Mr. Vigian. Good morning, Emily. I understand you're 63 years old and you're in the pink of health, or at least you're not suffering from any chronic illness, and you attribute this to this Buteco breathing method. How did you discover this? Um, I had a friend in Sydney who was uh, who had met a Russian practitioner mm -hmm. who was teaching the method and he invited me to go and do some work with them at a time when I was looking at a career change and I really just went temporarily but w once I started to observe what happened when people started to learn this technique mm -hmm. uh, I became very interested. I understand at that time you were suffering from allergies. Yeah I had allergic rhinitis, mm -hmm. runny nose, clogged nose, sneezing, mm -hmm. hay fever and uh, I have to say, mm -hmm. it's gone. I, I never get a clogged nose and I, I never sneeze. And, I, uh, and you're not, you much don't healthier, wear glasses actually. as well. You know, I, I learned this when mm -hmm. I was 44. I started mm -hmm. to learn it. I'm now 63 and mm -hmm. I feel that my health is more robust mm -hmm. and more balanced now. So what is the Buteco method? I mean, mm. are we, how are we breathing now? And mm. what changes should we be making? Well, it's interesting to know that it, the history of it is really that the doctor who discovered it in Russia mm -hmm. uh, was looking at chronically ill people and he noticed that they, they all shared something that was not really being looked at in the current approach to diagnostics and that is they all shared over breathing. Over breathing. And when he learned, he worked out a technique to teach people to breathe more optimally, mm -hmm. more according to what the physiology book would describe as uh, internationally accepted mm -hmm. norms, then they would get healthy. So what do you mean by over-breathing? I mean breathing more than the, the physiologically accepted norms. Okay. But breathing when you're at rest is a very gentle, soft, hardly noticeable thing. So it's like... Like no, it's, it's not like that. Not even you like see, that. see, because that's very obvious. Okay. You want to think about an upset, angry person and like they breathe and heavily. Huffing. And a person who's <laughs> meditating hardly breathes at all. Okay. And the person who's meditating is getting a much better level of oxygen than the person who's angry and upset. Well, what happens to our body when you overbreathe? Mm. Well, we lose a very important chemical that most people don't realize is important, and that's carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. When we overbreathe, we may take in a lot of oxygen, mm -hmm. yeah. but because we don't preserve sufficient carbon dioxide in our body, we make it and then we breathe it out too fast, uh, we don't absorb oxygen effectively. Mm -hmm. So the level of carbon dioxide in the body governs the level of oxygen that we receive. Mm -hmm. Of course this has a profound effect on our health. Mm -hmm. Carbon dioxide also has a lot of other major roles in the regulation of the body's systems so it's a very important chemical and if we breathe correctly according to the physiological norms mm -hmm. then our body will be much more robust and all the systems of the body will work more efficiently. But what's different between then and now when Dr. Bateko first discovered this, it was more than 50 years ago, mm -hmm. is that modern humans lifestyles have changed dramatically and our modern lifestyle really provokes over breathing. We're stressed. Mm -hmm. We have lots of activity in our brain and it stimulates respiration when it's not really appropriate. It's funny because we were really designed to be highly stimulated in relation to fight and flight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the stress mechanism. So can we but, learn how but to... But modern humans yes. get stressed when they're sitting down mm -hmm. and then they exercise to relax. Mm -hmm. And it's quite the opposite of the way we, d we were designed. So modern humans basically all over breathe. Mm -hmm. That's can, what's different. But can we, um, can we learn to mm. relearn we can. breathing? We can change our breathing. It's like going to the gym. If you mm -hmm. practice certain things and you understand certain things, then you can change the use of the body. We breathe 26,000 times per day. Mm -hmm. And the way we breathe has a profound effect on our physiology, our biochemistry, our neurology. Mm -hmm. I understand it may help with your asthma. It's, it's extremely helpful with asthma. Mm -hmm. Very quickly it can allow asthmatics to live without relief medicine. And quite interestingly, I understand it may also help in uh, reduction, weight reduction. 
Certainly, everybody who's overweight who does my workshops mm -hmm. or learns the method mm -hmm. uh, will find that they naturally lose mm -hmm. weight. And uh, it takes a bit of work, of course, to mm -hmm. change something you do 26,000 yes. times a day. Mm -hmm. You have to do some practice. You have to do, some, um, do a little bit of un uh, education in terms mm -hmm. of understanding mm -hmm. how your breathing relates to your various habits, your eating habits, your sleeping mm -hmm. habits, your postural habits. Mm -hmm. But with that education and with some practice, and in the case of children, just with practice, mm -hmm. you can quite dramatically change mm -hmm. the respiratory center and change the way you breathe. Where can they contact you should they want to attend one of your seminars? Okay, well, the, they should look at the website would mm -hmm. probably be the best way, which I'm sure will come on the screen, mm -hmm. which is potatoasia.com. Mm -hmm. And there's another very good website, which mm -hmm. is uh, learnboteco.info. Mm -hmm. uh, but my website has my schedules, current mm -hmm. schedules, and I'm, I have a few more introductory lectures, actually. I give free introductory lectures. I'm giving one on Saturday afternoon in Loyola Heights, mm -hmm. uh, one on Monday night in Mandaluyong in mm -hmm. Mega Mall, and, another one, uh, and two in Makati on Thursday, uh, one at 2 p.m. and one at 6 p.m., uh, 7 p.m. in McKinley Road in In Touch Community Services. So there's four opportunities to hear about the method for free. Apart from mm -hmm. what you can find online, mm -hmm. people can uh, text me or email mm -hmm. me and get more information. Yes. They can come to a free introductory lecture. And then I have some workshops have just started and I'll be starting some more in Mandaluyong and in Makati and in Quezon City. So there's plenty of opportunity for people to, to learn, learn the method for the themselves method. Yes. so they can improve their own health. Mm -hmm. And those who, those who are healthy get healthier. Mm -hmm. And those who are sick are able to reduce their symptoms mm -hmm. quite quickly mm -hmm. and usually have less dependence on medication. Okay, thank you so much for your time this morning, uh, Mr. Bidjan. Thank you so to you. much. Thanks, Emily.